Look, David, all I'm saying is sometimes you like you pull on your balls and you Oh, wait. Um So sometimes, David, <laughs> you should check if you're recording. I'm pretty sure that's all the times actually. Nah, the government's checking you nonstop anyway. But hey everybody, I'm Matt. <laughs> I'm David. And look, I that was a bit. But look, if you tug on them, just do it gently. Just unless you're into that. Story. You know, unless you're into it, but be safe. Always be safe. Yes. Um, we're jumping back into outer worlds, and I don't remember what we were doing, David. What were we doing? I'm not sure. Either. I know we were finishing up kind of all the areas we could finish up. Yeah, I will remember as soon as it loads, and I can look at the quest log. Oh, it's loaded. All right. I still don't remember. Um. Well, you didn't look at the quest log yet. You still have missed an, 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 of an important, crucial moment. Uh, oh, yeah, we were going to bring uh, Felix uh, to meet Harlow. And I think that was the last thing we needed to do on that planet. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, all right, let's yeah, do this. We can go back to Doctor to tell them we got that. Um. Okay, yep. But first, I must sing! Sorry. <laughs> David just showed me the true ending to The Last of Us. Good times. Uh, I just need to uh, switch landing pads. Oh, right, okay. Nope, we don't need you no more, Vicar. We'll bring Felix, since he needs to talk to somebody. It'd be a little awkward if I left him on the ship and went and talked to him on my own. Just a bit. Just a little bit. Hey, I picked up this guy from, like, Groundbreaker. You know, he was kind of getting in trouble. Fabulous Fraser Brothers! The Fabulous Fraser Brothers! Come watch the Hammersmith Thunder! Siren Fraser and Cameron Fraser play! I don't know why Dracula is talking about the Hammersmith Thunder, but he is. I'd be fine with it. Come, play the stick ball! Dracula. And bring that delicious blood with you <laughs> that you always like to have! Who are you? That is. Volker. Volker. What do you want? He's good, delicious blood. Yeah. I'm looking for the quest marker that's right over here. <laughs> that hurt. You get to a certain point where you're like, I'm out of breath, but I keep pushing. Yeah. I mean, once you commit, you have to just keep going. You really do. All right. And scene, David. All right. Lots of dead bodies. What are you all covered in grease. What are you getting me into here, Felix? What the fuck? David, you're going the wrong direction. It's around the corner. Spacer's choice. I thought maybe it was around the other corner and was going to come out like this direction. Does he have a candid puppy? Yes, he does. All right. Hi, bud. Yep. Okay. Uh, sure. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry. Were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged, old man. Okay, Felix. What have you gotten us into, as David asked just a few moments earlier? I'll, uh... I'll just let you two work this out. I thought you were dead. Or, or throwing yourself against the walls of some re-education center. I never liked the fact that they call it re-education. It's not a good sign. No, Felix. The best thing I can say to you is yet to come. Also, I'd like to have a word with your captain. Me? I mean, I never... Oh, you took Felix under your wing. I never actually said I was his captain. God. Way to presume. I always needed a place to belong. He's been watching out for us just as much as we've been watching out for him. 
Felix's family, mister. We only met him an hour ago. I've been making something out of myself. Yeah. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I don't know how I feel I'm about sure you, Hilo. has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Well then, catch up. So what? Is Nothing. that is that the end of the quest? Are we done? <laughs> I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. Okay. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That change it? How? Arrived. Obviously by including mutants and zombies. Nothing but throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. Yeah. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change hey, is he never said good. anything about being afraid. He just doesn't want to leave want the to place he's comfortable. Lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Revolution? Like... <laughs> I like the second and the third. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the fourth one's also not bad. Not bad, but not what we're going for, I don't feel. No. Uh, I'll go with the second one for now. Felix is loyal to me, you asshat. Felix is part of your crew, at least for now. If the thought of losing him troubles you, then understand that you're helping him solve a problem for an old friend. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Maybe we can just talk Trask into giving us his ring without the murder. Maybe. Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Uh, Has been an reviewed. informant. When he realized I was on to him, he and his little Snitches get stitches. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. What? He tucked what tail? Him, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna! Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. Yeah, because people always talk to strangers. <laughs> yeah. If I have some weirdo come up armed and... I tell them everything they want to know. Clyde offered me a hand when nobody else would. I'd say I owe him a good turn. There you have it, Captain. A favor for an old friend. Fine. I won't be yeah, happy about this. You, I'm in? I mean, assuming I want it. We're building a new world. Felix, together, Felix. do we need to kick you out of the crew? Remember, yeah. I want proof. Bring me Stop line. bouncing around from one place to another. Here. I mean, unless you want to, but. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. I don't trust him. Me neither. I don't really know what's going on at the moment. But I'm going to give you a shot. But if he makes one wrong move, right between the ears. Between the ears? Well, because he's not looking at me, so i got to go through the ear. Oof, that's painful. Yeah. But effective. True. How the hell do we get out of here again? It was definitely... It was that way. And then I think if you go straight, there's a turn to the left. Yep. Okay. There you go. Nice small door. Alright, so... To continue his quest, now requires going to the Groundbreaker. Alright, Groundbreaker! Groundbreaker! Uh, we need to go to the Groundbreaker anyway to talk to that doctor. Uh... As we do. What did you just do? I think I pulled out a beard hair. Completely oh. on accident. Well, okay. I hurt like a son of a bitch. I gathered that by the uh, loud ow. <laughs> yeah, the exclaiming ow! God damn it! Okay, so yep, back to so the, the groundbreaker. Breaker. Yep, we can knock out two there. And then it's, you know, either helping Nyoka finish her quest on Monarch or <sighs> making our way to uh, the Byzantium. Ooh, fun times. 
Look, you discovered another vending machine. Yeah. This is all the vending machines, David. I don't know how I ran past that to get down there without discovering it, but, uh... You just did. It's part of life. Yeah. I guess I just didn't look in a direction long enough. Nah. The unreliable! The unreliable takes flight. I mean, in all fairness, it's been pretty reliable so far. That's true. Just wait until Ada betrays us. Yeah. Then it's unreliable. And, you know... Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. Yeah. Eh, I don't care about them. I know it's about Tossball. Uh, all the way back across the colony! But yeah, I wouldn't be mad if Ada betrayed us and took over the universe. No? Do you like Ada that much? Yeah. Cool. Who do you need to bring with you for this? Uh, it would be, I guess, technically Felix, and really just Felix. He's the only companion one. The other one's just a side quest. Oh, okay. And I guess, I mean, I probably don't have to bring Felix, since... But just in case he has special dialogue with this family. Mm, true. True, 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 true. Since he does know Harlow. <laughs> Though I guess we're not supposed to let him know that we know Harlow. Also true, yeah. We're not yeah. supposed to let him know that we know Harlow because he doesn't trust Harlow. Or she doesn't trust Harlow. Because Harlow's a bag of dicks. Yeah. And you know, he might turn out to just be a really cool guy. It's true too. But, uh... I mean, and he is planning a revolution, so... I mean, you're just A-OK -okay with Ada planning a revolution. Yeah, but I know Ada. That's true. You do know Ada. I at least have an idea of what might happen if it was her. Harlow, I don't know what to expect. It might be a good revolution, it might not be. Also true. Ada is at least amusing. She's entertaining. Uh, ah. You're getting close. I like that they're all so close at the docks. I know. It's not like before where I had to keep running, uh... But which building is it in? Could be this one, could be the other one. I'm gonna go with the other one. Yep. Yep, because this is the, uh... It looks like I gotta talk to you! Rosanna! You mind? Trying to have a moment here. With who? Ah, uh, let's just be blunt. Yeah. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. Good, so you I can tell me. Oh. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. But you're not on speaking terms, so why can't you tell me? Uh, hmm. It seems a weird option to show her the emblem after he sent us because she didn't know us. Maybe you could use the June Lay one. Maybe. You're telling me you're on a first name basis with Ms. Tennyson? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's pretty easy persuade for yeah. us. I can't argue with that logic. Like, all right. That's like the cop you thing. Need to say like, no, I'm not Rufus part of that. Is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. Not that's the veil. Vale. All right. I guess that's it. Yeah. Sweet. Nice and easy. Now where's the gun doctor? Uh, he's actually one of the medical pay. Doctor, doctor. Uh, it should be you, I think. Uh, hello. June Lay called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now is there something I can help you with? Actually, I don't think it's him. No, but I mean medical supplies. Pretty good. Yeah. We didn't have 87 stim packs already. <laughs> yep. Uh, Dr. Dorset. That's right, it's the uh, lady. Yeah, no. Yeah. Are a gambling woman? I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. Probably. I can't thank you enough. I mean, you can. You can just keep saying it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just just pay me more than uh, Gladys, and you know we're fine. Man, right. fuck Gladys, right? Yeah. Hey, friend. Sorry about your face. 
Alright, so now what? So now... Um... Now we're kind of spread out again, because we can either go to Emerald Vale, we can go to Monarch to deal with the, uh... Let's finish up some companion quests. Let's do Neoka's. Let's finish hers out. Yeah, because... Because we've got so many companion quests, let's yeah. finish some of these. Both of them will require going to Byzantium, which is our next story thing anyway. So it'll basically be Neoka and then go into the Emerald Vale again for him. That's fine. Let's do both of those. Yep. Uh... Okay. Wait, what was that Ice Palace thing? The override cartridge will hand over control to the station. Oh yeah, that was that, uh station I need to go to. Oh, uh, alright. Yep. Um, and then there is... just killing the sissy pig guy. And I actually don't know... because we kind of did all the steps, so I guess something else will pop up. Uh, apparently, yeah. Uh, Hawthorne's terminal mentioned. Uh, I feel like we had to go to... alright, so we went to Groundbreaker. Scroll down. We did all of them. At least so far. So I don't know if something new will pop up. Maybe we or... have to go back to his terminal. When you go on the ship, go back to his terminal. Can do. It's Rizzo's! Alright, guys. I'm wondering if there's another weapon we have to find on Byzantium. Yeah, that's what I was kind of waiting to see. Is like, you know, we got all the ones so far that have been mentioned. Maybe there's a new one. Or there's just some simple step we're uh, missing. Like going to the terminal and being like, done! <laughs> yep. Got it. Those weapons are mine. I haven't used them. At all. But they're mine. ba 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 Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba. You can be both admired and feared by the same faction. Alright, let's go up to our terminal. Members, Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. <laughs> so... Let's see. And those are those... So, uh, yeah, nothing new. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll just go to, uh, go to Monarch for now. Alright, that works for me. At least help Neoka. So... Uh, Huh. I guess any of the... I mean, once we land, we can fast travel wherever we need to go. Yeah. Do it in uh, Cascadia. Uh, yeah, we do got all the doors open now, so... Was like... We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. Thank you, Ada. Alright, so grab Pavardi. Okay, Thanks, and we can get and Neoka, Neoka back. Sorry, Felix, but... Girl power. Girl power! You're still a little shifty, so, you know, I don't know what to expect from you. Right. Leading us to random people I've never met before. And granted, Neoka's got us hunting down Manta Queens and... You know, also true. But still, she's also just a badass, so... You know, who am I to argue if she wants to hunt down some dangerous beasts... Some dangerous monsters and buggies. Space buggies. And maybe, uh, put some things to rest so she doesn't keep getting, uh, blackout drunk every day. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, okay. so we gotta check the map. Cause I feel like it's not too far away. And yeah, it's down there. Yeah, so, and this is why I was saying come here, cause you could either run there or possibly... No, cause that's like... I would go with the that one. Yeah. Because that one's supposed to up against the cliff. But that one you can turn to the left and... Yep. War of words fizzles. I'm sad it took us, like, what, tw how... We've played this game for over 20 hours. 
And I'm sad it's taken us that long to figure out that those were our achievements. Mm. Like, kind of telling us the what was going on after we left. Well, because you got a lot of them that aren't ours. We assume. True, they could still be something that's... Oh, those are bad guys. Should we, uh... Smuggle them? Um... I mean, I'm just good for outright murder. Alright. That's fair. Ooh, right in the butthole, David. Just like that wooden plank. All it's right. true, it's currently wedged right up there between my sweet and tenders. There you are. That also just helps I can just mow down things now. Yeah, putting our skill points where we did really helped. Yeah, sure, I'll take uh, some drinks for the road. Some dranky dranks for the road. Yep. These guys used to be a challenge, didn't they? Wow, did we? Okay. Guess I'm glad I came over here. I just assumed we had uh, looted this before. Yeah, I thought you had too. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Well, those look like I did. I guess I just... Maybe you might have just missed that. Well, no, because you wouldn't yeah. have missed those. I would have pointed those out. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess we just, uh... Yeah, I guess you just missed this place. Yeah. All right. Well, to Neoka's old base. Yeah. Where nothing will try to kill us. Nope, nothing will go wrong at all. Except for the thing that's going to try to kill us. Maybe we can persuade our way out. <laughs> hey, Manta Queen. How about you not? See? You should, Ooh, that was a plasma rifle. You should try talking. Let's see. Nope. 208? I think it's... Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's a plasma rifle versus a plasma carbine. Try the difference. See what it is. Oh, so it's what? 72, 108, 48 magazine, stagger. 45 magazine. Oops, sorry. Uh, five less than the magazine, but that damage. Yeah, much higher. Okay, yeah, no. Um, so the only thing it doesn't have is the mods, but... But you have plenty, so you can easily put the mods on. Yep. Alright, yeah, we'll give it a shot. You know. Yeah. Growing up, what was, like, the sci-fi setting that, like, defined your love of sci-fi? Here we go. Do you, do you remember? Or was it just kind of always a thing? I think it was kind of just a thing. Uh, for, I remember loving... I mean, I obviously, I loved Star Wars growing up, but I, we also grew up in the time when Next Gen was still airing. Mm. And even though I've never been, like, the biggest Star Trek fan... You know, I grew up watching Next Gen because we would get home from school and it would be syndicated on TV at like four in the afternoon or something. Yeah. And so I would watch Next Gen. Um, so sci-fi kind of was just one of those things. Yeah, it was always there, but it was also one of those things that very much like played a big impact. But then you also had movies like The Fifth Element came out, which was a big part of it. You know, that defined a very particular idea when it came to, to science fiction. Um, you know, I, I didn't see Alien or Aliens until I was older, to like a teenager. Mm. Um, like, I knew what they were. I had seen Terminator. That was a big sci-fi thing for me. Yeah. I think it was um, the... Uh... Robocop. Mm. Robocop defined my love of, of weird dystopian sci-fi. <laughs> I think it was like the opposite for me like i saw alien pretty early but i didn't really see star wars until i was older mm. um was that you're looking at like the three checkpoints going what's happening no just trying to th think if i was right on that or not <laughs> but yeah i'm pretty sure it was like i was a little older when i actually uh saw it yeah for me i saw star wars pretty early on because I mean, of course, they did the 90s re-release when we were in elementary school. Mm. But I also, me and my mom used to do the mail-in contests for WB Fox Kids. 
mm-hmm. a lot because you know it was like a, a dollar to you just like filled out a form and sent it in and paid the postage and you might win a thing and we won a lot because i don't think a lot of people really mailed into those contests um and i won a vhs copy of a new hope um back when i was like five mm-hmm. and i think that was the first time i saw it and I really, really loved it. And then cut forward two years later, they did all the re-releases in theaters, and it was a whole big thing. But given who my grandfather was, he had a lot of science fiction movies. And so, I mean, he had a lot of movies in general, but like science fiction he had a lot of too, because I think he enjoyed mm. sci-fi enough. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. I mean, we did the first two of those steps. I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. We can hug you. First minute Pat on the back. Here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. We hauled in steel. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first. But for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. She had a head for numbers. Helped us trade hides for food and materials. Negotiated contracts. Turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name. One family. Caron. Despite Mara trying to kill us day in and day out. An interesting choice to go with. We're getting a lot of her backstory. Yep. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. Oh no, sentiment. Okay. Just immediate, uh... Come here, you little buggies. Oh, God. I didn't mean get right up in my face. Oh, there it is. I shoot you in the stomach. The swarms. Uh, but no, as I was saying... My grandfather had a lot of movies, and so I think he really helped to fuel my love of sci-fi and stuff like that. I mean, one of the first movies I remember him showing me was uh, Batman Returns. My mom tells this story that apparently Batman Returns was the first like movie I sat down and like watch watched mm. as a kid. Like I was two or three, like two. This was the Danny DeVito Batman Returns, and my mom walked in and went, what are you showing him? And my grandfather was just like, what? He likes it. <laughs> mm. Probably not the best movie for a kid. Yeah, but I guess it's the same with me in Jurassic Park. That was kind of my first, like, really, uh, one that I remember. <laughs> Well, we've done cleared this place out. Yeah, that was one of the big things for me was getting to see just all those random movies. And that's, I think he's the reason I've seen so many random movies. Mm. And oh, my butthole! Oh, I 
That's why I've seen so many random movies. And then I'll talk to people and be like, hey, have you seen this movie? And they'll be like, what? No. And I'll be like, what? It's a classic. Yeah. But, you I know, mean, it's one of those it. things. You got somebody in your family that's really, uh, you know. I think I've inherited that. I have a lot of movies. <laughs> I've inherited that trait. I'm the movie member of the family. <laughs> these were more auspicious circumstances but at least we're all here this bringing them together burying them this is the kind of thing Hayes would have done that makes it stupid by all accounts we should have left well enough alone but that also makes it right captain thank you oh wait no. don't close off the thingy you can keep playing I just want to take a picture of Nyoka I never thought about this still right now mm hmm Mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. What you gonna do, David? What? Why? Those painful memories, Captain. But they're memories. That's true. They will help you remember. Makes me think of that. I don't think you've seen it. There's an episode of Doctor Who. Huh. With Vincent Van Gogh, and they're like, you know, just because you have bad memories doesn't mean that it takes away from the good memories. Yep. Uh -oh. Why'd the screen go black? Oh, okay. Because I guess we technically rested. Oh, we set up little graves. <laughs> His most egregious crime was having the gall to die before me. Well, okay. Come on. Are not re okay. The closest thing to a sister that I ever lost. Between Raptodons and women, he died doing what he loved, chasing tail. All right. At the very least, you came back to us in the end. One of the very few who deserved better. Oh, Opal. That's right. That was the one she was pretty close to. Yep. Well, you got skill points, David. Yep. She also... I didn't quite catch it, but it said something about she gained uh, some kind of perk. Did she? Yeah. I missed it. But I don't know. I, I can check the replay of the footage when we're done. Did she get, like, gear or something? No, it was popped up while we were talking like it was something she got I guess for completing her uh, quest hmm. but I'm not sure what uh... alright uh, what do we do what do we do well I'm not gonna lie putting it into ranged definitely helped but we also have stealth that we could do yeah uh, Maybe a little more in stealth right now, since we are currently uh, still murdering things pretty easily. Okay. And then if it seems like we're doing a little bit less damage... We can just... Next level, we'll pop yep. it in. That's right, you have to do it individuals now. Oh yeah, because I guess everything except for that's technically 50 now. Well, so you could put three into sneak. Yeah. And then if you wanted to differentiate the other seven points, maybe balance out some numbers here or there and other stats... So you don't just have, like, weird tens in places? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, also true. Because, mm. like, where are you... Like, you could put some in, def in defense, so you don't... You take less damage, but you could also put some in guns. Yeah. Because, like, five would get you at least your long guns up to 50, and then you can just focus on long guns. Yeah, that is true. 
and now you can put the other two in like defense or something. Yeah. Or just put one in and then ah, back out. You could put one in defense and one in melee weapons. Round them all up to tens. Yeah, why not? Because now look, every stat you have is above is ten or higher. Yeah, at this point, it's not like it really, really matters. Yep. But <laughs> hey, all right. But I think that's uh. That's the end of her quest. Yeah. Yep. So Emerald Vale, it is. All right. Well, good job, everybody. So proud of you. How, how are you hanging? Oh, I've been assuming this entire stay on your ship thing isn't a permanent arrangement. Part of my contract? That said, you ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. It says a lot about the stability of your future. And to be honest, I'm about sick of sleeping on bar stools. So how's about this? You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours, and I'll keep shooting at the things you point at. I mean, that's fine with me. Fine with me. All right, sure. Good, good talk. Good talk, everybody. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the ship and head towards Emerald Vale. Yep. And I guess you could technically. Yep. Just go ahead and. Uh... Oh no! You have to leave the cave. Oh uh, yeah. But we'll uh, we'll end this here, David, and we'll pick it up in the next episode with us heading to Emerald Vale to take care of some Felix drama. Yeah, see if maybe we can resolve his quest line. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.